What do you get? <laughs> well, there must be something sexual on these tapes because Ange just gets freaked out by that shit. Are these tapes of you having sex with women or something? Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you either are or you weren't. Which is it? Why don't you let me tape you? Doing what? Just talking. About what? <laughs> Sex. Sexual preference. Sexual history. What makes you think I want to talk to that about? Sorry. I'm just going to Can you go back? Sex. Sexual history. Sexual preference. And what makes you think that I want to talk about that with you? Nothing. Is this how you get off or something? Watching women talk about their sexual experiences? Yes. <laughs> Would anyone else see the tapes? Absolutely not. So where do we start? Well, you start talking, I record. And you ask questions. That's it. That's it? That's all. Well, can I take a look at these tapes just to... Absolutely not. <laughs> Well, do you want me to sit or do you want me to stand? Whichever you prefer. Mm -hmm. I'd like to sit. That's good. Are you ready? Hold on one second. We are now recording. What is your name? Cynthia Patrice Bishop. Describe for me your first sexual experience. I was eight years old. Michael Green, who was also eight, wanted to watch me take a pee. <laughs> so, I said that he could if I could watch him too. So we went down to the woods behind my house and, you know, I kept thinking that he was going to chicken out because he kept saying, ladies first. <laughs> so I pulled down my pants and I started to pee and he ran away before I could even finish. Did the two of you ever discuss it after that? No. <laughs> I mean, he kind of avoided me for the rest of the school year, and then his family moved away to Cleveland or something. How unfortunate. No. So, when was it that you first got to see a penis? When I was 14. Live or in a photograph or a film of some sort? Very much live. What did, was it what you expected? Not really. I mean, uh, I didn't expect it to have all the veins and all the ridges, you know? I just thought that it would be kind of smooth, like a test tube. Were you disappointed? No. I mean, if anything, the longer that I looked at it, the more interesting it got. It, it, I mean, oh, it had character, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what did you expect it to feel like when you touched it? And what did it actually feel like? <laughs> well, it was warmer. Um, 
softer. I mean, it's weird thinking about it, you know? The organ itself it just became like, like a separate entity to me. I mean, when he pulled it out and, and I could touch it and, and I could look at it, I mean, I completely forgot that there was a guy attached to it. I mean, I was completely startled when he started talking to me. <laughs> what did he say? He said that my hand felt good. And then what happened? Then I started moving my hand and he stopped talking. Scene. Yay! <laughs>